Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this tutorial, I'll be walking you through using a Ledger Nano X to store, send, and receive NIM with Nimix new wallet. And the process is nearly identical if you're using a Ledger Nano S. So the first step is to head to nimic.com, link in the description of course. And before we actually access our wallet, we're gonna need to add Nimic to our Ledger device. So what you're gonna wanna do is head over to the Ledger Live app. If you're on a computer, you'll need to head over, navigate to the manager, and you will need to give access to Ledger Live from your Ledger. I'll just retry that. From here, you can of course see the apps which are already installed on your Ledger. And what we're gonna need to do is search for Nimic right there. And we're gonna need to install that onto our Ledger. That should be fairly quick. And once it's installed, you'll be able to see it over on your Ledger right there, Nimic. And if you're installing Nimic from the Ledger Live mobile app, this is how it'd look. And to enter into the app, of course, navigate over to the manager and select your Ledger Nano X. This does only work with the Ledger Nano X since it does support Bluetooth. From here, once it's connected, you'll need to search for Nimic, which is right there. Just install that. And within a few moments, it'll be on our Ledger Nano X. And there you have it, installed just like that via Bluetooth. But now that we have Nimic installed, we can head back over to Nimic.com. And from here, we'll navigate over to the login button. Next, we'll select connect to Ledger, connect your Ledger Nano S. Also works with Ledger Nano X. Of course, if you were using a recovery file, that would be here. We're gonna connect the Ledger. We're gonna need to open the Nimic app, which on the Ledger device is done by clicking both buttons at the same time. Um, you may get this window pop-up, which if you get a device here, you need to select it and then click connect. But for me, sometimes it, this window, I have to close it out and then this window pops up. And this has something to do with the browser, but it is nothing to worry about. And there you go. It did flash a few times, but then it logged in all good. And in the background, we can see the old Nimic safe layout. But what we're gonna be using is the new Nimic wallet. So we'll click open Nimic wallet. Welcome to the new Nimic wallet. The wallet is still in beta. Your funds are safe. There just there just might be some visual issues. If you find a bug or have feedback, please share it to this form. Got it. The domain is just wallet.nimic.com if you ever want to get here directly. Over here, if you do find a bug since the wallet is a new release, you can let us know here. Right here is the current Nimic price. Of course, the Bitcoin price, which will soon be supported. Bitcoin coming soon. Down here, if you click on network, you can see the the world map and you can see which locations you're connected to who you're connected to which peers and if we head back over to the ledger let's send a quick transaction so over here you'll just select send paste the address to the account which you'd like to send little test send I'll just put that as the amount as the name my bad the amount we're just gonna send 10 NIM for the sake of this. Hello. Send transaction. Um, you will need to connect your ledger again. So if your ledger did time out, you will need to enter your pin again. With that being done and the Nimic app being open, you can select connect. If you do happen to get this window, if there is an option here to select it and then connect, if not, just click cancel. And now it's asking me to confirm the transaction. So I can click along, double check in the amount and the address, and accept and send. And there we go, the transaction has been signed and sent on its way. Boom. And of course, if, I, if you'd like to receive NIM, you simply click receive, and right here is your address, which is pretty cool. So if you just click on that, it is copied. You also have the QR code. So that is just a quick overview of connecting your Ledger device with the new Nimic wallet. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below and I'll see you in the next one.